close, in your opinion, are the 49ers to winning the Super Bowl? They've been on a quest for six since I gained consciousness in this world, or since I can remember. Mm-hmm. Are they going to get there this year, next year, anytime soon? What do you think? Yeah, soon. I just, uh, again, I just, I think that it's, here's two ways to spin it. Let's let's look at it both ways. And and we've talked about this before. The first time, the first time that we talked about it, we said, well, I don't know if they should be considered right away off the bat Super Bowl contenders. But then when you start to look around the NFC now with, with probably no Aaron Rodgers, where's the team that is completely dominant besides the Bucks? So there's a there's yeah. a window or a path for the 49ers to get to the Super Bowl. And if the Bucks 45 year old quarterback starts to play like he's 45, then it's wide open. Yeah. Wide open. Yeah. So the NFC is wide open, and I understand yeah. that portion of it. I just think that that's a little bit too hasty right now because I think that what the step that people are missing is the playoffs. Yeah. You have to make the playoffs to, yeah. to make the. So here's what's so funny. Um, I think it was Warren Sharp. He tweeted something about how many times the how many winning seasons the 49ers have had in what is it the last like 10 12 years something like that mm-hmm. i believe the 49ers have had four for each of those four years NFC they were in the nfc championship or the super bowl True. this is the biggest boomer bust team in the league it's not like yes. they get to the playoffs and they lose one game no. if they get to the playoffs they're rolling <laughs> on no. their way to a super bowl so I think the goal first, obviously, before you get to a Super Bowl, is be a perennial playoff team. Put yourself in that mix every single time. So I won't say that right now they are a Super Bowl contender, but it's hard to argue with somebody who wants to say that because the NFC is wide open. No one's scared of anybody from the East. You know, the, if, if Aaron Rodgers isn't playing, even if he was there, the 49ers, when they're healthy, have kind of had their number. It's it really their only competition. It seems like in the NFC is going to come from their own division. And the Bucks, you know, the Bucks would be the Bucks. They have probably one of the t- one two best rosters in the league. Brought everybody back. Tony O'Brown's their number three receiver. They're absolutely stacked. I get that, and they should be the favorites to go back. But there is a world where the 49ers have a way to get there. I just don't think it's fair to put those expectations on this team right away. Let's just start. At, let's start with a playoff berth. Let's get out of this division, which is probably the hardest in football. Let's get out of this division with 11, 12 wins, and then we'll talk about Super Bowl when we get to the playoffs. I just don't think it's fair to say Super Bowl or bust right now. Yeah, I agree with that. I do. But I, I think mm, people look maybe from the East Coast, they look at the Niners like, well, they're not really settled on a quarterback. I'm not taking them seriously. I don't really look at the Niners that way. I mean, they're not a quarterback-driven team. Quarterback is the most important position, but Jimmy can win. His replacement is much more talented. I feel like both of these quarterbacks could win on this team. And feel like the roster is good it's it's what Shanahan's been building for five years I feel like people forget this is supposed to be year five of a six-year deal he got an extension but the whole original plan of bringing him in is that he would be contending right now and I think they're actually a little closer than maybe people uh nationally realize um once one of these quarterbacks gets in a rhythm I think this team could go really far now are they gonna win a Super Bowl this year maybe not probably not but they could go to the NFC Championship. They can win a Super Bowl next year. I think if Kyle Shanahan is as good as we, you, we think he is. The perception is. Yeah, then he's going to have a winning season this year, win a playoff game, and then at least one playoff game, and then win it all next year. I mean, like he's had three losing seasons in four years. So did Bill mm-hmm. Walsh to start to start off. Fair enough. You're building from scratch. The thing about Bill Walsh is he never had another losing season after that. So I think it's fair to expect like the results to happen now. Like mm-hmm. you didn't walk into the same team that Sean McVay did with the, with the Rams. You didn't have a right. ready-made contender, but you've built one. This is year five. And I know there's been some complications along the way, but I think mm-hmm. it's, it's reasonable to expect to have high expectations for this team moving forward. And Bill Belichick also remember yes. he was on the cusp of being fired right before Drew Bledsoe True. got destroyed and, and, and cracked his sternum and, and started the Tom Brady era. And, and that's the thing. It's it's all about context. But right now, I think that any team's goal should be being in the playoffs every single year. I know that you don't get a trophy for that, but you got to be in it to win it. And, and the team is just so boomer bust, and it's just so weird when it comes to that. But I think that everybody's coach, uh, coach everybody's journey as a coach is different. And it's the same thing with Kyle Shanahan. But this True. has got to be a season where if they win a playoff game, that's a successful season in my book. I know that people don't want to hear that. But that's successful because you're yeah. moving in the right direction. Remember, when you asked, I think we had, we had a show where you asked, hey, what, what would be a successful season? 
building in the right direction. Show me things that I can point to that say, okay, this is what they're building to. I love it. You know, it, this can't be uh, just uh, uh, if you don't win a Super Bowl, it's not successful. No, there needs to be context. There needs to be a lot of things that that you need to think about when you think about a successful season. Can can you get the rookie up to speed? Uh, mm-hmm. Can everybody get through the season unscathed with with injuries? Can you can you show that you can win games in a multitude of ways with with great defense or or just scoring points when you need to consistently. So it, it, there's a lot of ways that you can quantify a successful season. I just don't think it's fair to say Super Bowl or bust. I don't think also if it's Trey Lance who's the quarterback when they're playing in the playoffs, that's all good. All good experience. House money. One of, yeah, and that's how much money you're playing with. Yeah. Yeah, so all I'm saying is not to, like, raise the bar and be, like, extra negative on this team if they don't reach some lofty goals. It's just to say that I think you're in store for a better team than you expect. Everyone's kind of yeah. like, well, the team get hurt and the quarterback and the defensive coordinator. Team might be really, really good. And I guess you might, we'll just have to see what Trey Lance can do early on. Yeah, and Great you have pop. to remember, too, other teams are going to fall apart with injuries, yeah. too. Those, that's so that's the, thing, that's the stuff that people forget. Like, yes, you know. You want to make sure your team is healthy, but circumstances changes. It, we, this is a week-to-week league. Week four, you could be at the top of somebody's power rankings. Everybody's saying, I don't know how this team can be beat. By the time week 12 rolls around, yeah. whether that's injuries or whether that's whatever you're doing on the field as far as scheme isn't working, this league changes fast. So that's why it's impossible right now on July 1st to say, yeah, the 49 under Super Bowl contenders, let's see some bullets start flying first. Let's see some, let's let's get some games. Yeah, imagine if Aaron Donald or Jalen Ramsey gets hurt. Like, what that's what's that team going to be like? The Rams Grandpa, are out. Yeah, Rams are out. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa passes at least. There's no Oklahoma drill, no Super Bowl this year. Playoffs are bust. Yes, playoffs. Are, I, they should make the playoffs this year. It's a yeah. tough division, but they have an easy schedule and an easy conference. And more playoff spots are open. There's, yep. if, if if I'll tell you this, if you want to quantify a successful season. With a playoff berth and a, and a victory, yeah. But a, a, a unsuccessful season will be not making the playoffs this year. True. Bottom line, that's Bottom the best line. way I could put it. And, and and that'll be a failure. That for on my um in my eyes, that'll be a failure if they don't make yeah. the playoffs this year. Yeah, it's not like they're totally starting over. You're not totally starting over. You've been building this for five years. You brought in a new quarterback, but you still have the old one. You're expected to make the playoffs this year somehow. It's not the same as, I mean, like you know, the other guy who got fi- fined was Urban Meyer. You know, whatever. It's like they're not going to compete. He's trying to. You can almost. He's like. You can almost understand. Like, oh, he hasn't been in the league. He doesn't know. He, that's whatever. his mo. That's his that's mo. His though. MO. He break. He breaks rules everywhere he goes. Nothing happens to him, and he just gets that's another true. job somewhere else. So that's, that's Urban true. Meyer's mo. That one. That one didn't shock me at all. If, if, the other if one was you had Dallas. to tell me uh, that one, well, Mike McCarthy's inept. That yeah. uh, so look. So look. All right. Back so to the saying, original oh, point. You don't want to be in right. that company, man. Don't right. put yourself in that company, about, man. I was just yeah. about to say that. If you want to, if you want to spin a negative you. out of it, yeah. don't be in the same group with Mike McCarthy and, and Urban. Urban Meyer. Yeah. That's not a good look. I agree with you on that one. Because I mean, like, no one questions that Kyle Shanahan is a brilliant offensive scheme innovator. Like, mm-hmm. there's no, there's some people in his in his league, but no one better. We're we're just talking about like leadership and organization, man. Control your team. Stuff. Boring stuff. Control your team, man. Come on. And he's and he's the he is the face of this team, and and he controls everything. It's not John Lynch. It's not Jed York. No. It's Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan yes. has the keys to all of this. So it's not like he's like, well, that's over my pay grade or that's over my head. No, 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 no. You're in charge of everything at this point. You are. So come on. That's why he got fined fifty, and Jed York got fined a hundred. Fifty uh, bands. Oh, Dan has a question. Uh, Don has a question about this. He said, "Do you think uh-huh. Kyle canceled mandatory to deflect from CBA wrongdoings?" I got a n- maybe I have a different theory. Do you think that Jed York canceled mandatory because he knew this was coming and was pissed? I don't know. I guess we'll never know. It's a good thing the state of the franchise was yesterday. That was fun. Like we have practices and you cost me a hundred thousand dollars. Like no more practices. Forget that. Like I don't want to spend a hundred thousand dollars anymore. <laughs> I don't care how much money you have. Don't come and tell me. I uh, you know if that's a drop in the bucket for Jed York, yeah, it is. I don't care. A hundred thousand dollars, I don't want to give that up. I don't, I don't care. Jed York went out to dinner with Tim Kawakami and made him pay up on that bet that he had. So they that's that's documented. Uh, Tim and Jed bet over whether Levi's was going to get built by 2012. Mm-hmm. Jed won the bet. The bet was dinner at uh, French Laundry, which is the most expensive restaurant in California. They go. Jed brings his wife. Whoa. His wife and makes so him bought, pay for both of bottles. them. Yeah, they bought bottles of wine. Like grand, he didn't say multiple I, grand, multiple grands. 
And it's well, like, hey, good, good, have fun with your reporter salary paying for this one. Don't I was make- about to say, I yeah. didn't know Tim Kawakami was balling like that, man. I got to get into this beat writer stuff if yeah. I can take owners out. If I could take owners out to, to dinner on bets, I'd bet Jed a bunch of stuff if I could make beat writer money, apparently. I don't know. So if Jed would make Tim Kawakami pay up on that bet, he might just make Kyle Shanahan cancel minicamp. So, That's man, crazy. you got in trouble twice. Twice? <laughs>